iOS 14 is one of the most versatile update that Apple ever had. The new widget feature, even that thing was available on Android since way back in then. It's a pretty big deal on iOS and a lot of people are having fun with their home screen customization and I am one of them too. I have a specific video about that so if you guys want to check that out please check it out somewhere on the corner. But a bunch of people are forgetting that iOS shortcut is way more useful than people think. So in this video I'm going to show to you guys one of the most productive feature that you can use on iOS shortcut and make a widget out of it. So let's get right into it. So as you guys can see, this is my current iOS 14 setup. I didn't really change it since the last video, but I changed it just a couple there. I like Arnold Schwarzenegger's, I have Concord on it, the motivational type of stuff. Then I have my timer widget, which is very useful. But the main part is this bottom left and right, which is my Notion shortcuts and Spotify playlist. This is one of the most useful way to use a iOS shortcut. Let me show it to you guys. So as you guys can see over here, I have a Notion shortcut widget. So if I press this, I can choose which note I want it to go. So for example, video ideas, then boom, I can just go straight to video ideas. So if you want to just go to your customizable app to Notion, for example, if I want to go to my Notion, if I tap here, it will go through the iOS shortcuts page then to notion which is which is i won't say not useful but it, it had this like momentum you know i'm not a big fan of that and yes you can reduce motion on accessibility tab on ios but that will change up the whole setting of the iphone and i'm not big fan of that at all in this one you can just go straight to the app you can just go straight to the note that you wanted to take and i think this is very useful so another example is my spotify playlist so if i tap on spotify playlist i can go to my playlist straight up so for example i can go to my coffee and bossa nova playlist which is right here and it will take me straight up to my study coffee and bossa nova like mode right <laughs> i still can go my workout playlist you know workout remix 2019 let's get it and if i want to go my notion shortcuts for like budgeting and stuff i'll just go to here and do my budgeting because i'm broke as fuck. this feature you can use on any type of app that will allow copying url so i'll show you guys how to make this widget so let's get right into it okay so let me make this notion widget for example so if i press the editing home screen i'll just make a brand new tab and hit press and you want it to go to shortcut widget so i will go to shortcuts and when I hit shortcuts, it doesn't have to be, you know, the square big one. It can be like this multiple one, this four one, just like you can choose your own. So I'll, for example, I'll just choose this four boxes. So what you want to do for customizing this widget is to go to the shortcut app on your iPhone, go to shortcut app. And what you want it to do is go back, tap the new folder button and name your folder. So for example, um, I'll just type notion, right? I will just have notion button add and when you add a brand new folder go to notion and tap this plus button and when you press on add action go to web and if you go to web it will say open url so if you press open url they will allow you to copy and paste the url that you just copy so i wanted to put my notion page i'll go back for example i'll go to my notion and i'll just like choose a note that i wanted to copy url so I will go to like maybe podcast memos. So when you go to the page that you wanted to copy URL, hit this three dot on the right corner. And what you wanna do is copy link. When you hit the copy link, it will copy the URL of this page. Go back to your shortcuts, copy and paste on the URL part. Go next and I'll put podcast memo and this this part doesn't really matter you can put whatever you want and hit done and when you hit done you successfully made yourself some notion shortcuts so let me demonstrate this edit widget and when you go to edit widget choose your folder i'll choose notion i'll go back and if i hit this podcast memo widget it will go to my podcast memo note which is pretty awesome and it doesn't have this like awkward you know momentum situation of this shortcut thing on ios 14 which is very fast and very useful all right next up let me show you how to make this multiple selection widget that i just show you guys in the beginning so do the same thing go back and go to shortcut so once you open shortcut go to plus so once you go to new shortcuts go to add action and don't go to open url go to scripting so what they do in this is you can basically make your personal Python code in your iOS, which is 
pretty damn awesome. What you want to do is go to choose from menu. When you hit the choose from menu, you can choose, you know, the name and the action that you want it to script. So what I want to do is maybe number one can be the podcast memo, podcast memos. And the second one can be video ideas and you can add an action you can add almost much as you want for note selection but i don't want to make it super complicated in this video so i'm just going to keep it simple so what i want to do is hit this plus button and once you hit the plus button go to web and go to open url as usual as usual and once you hit the open url go to the top and i already copied the podcast memos url so do the same thing just paste it and I will have the pockets memo note in this action. And what you wanna do is hit the plus again if you wanna add another note, open URL, then I will copy my video ideas tab on Notion, then paste my URL here and type next, um, Notion notes. And you can choose whatever you want and hit done. And once you go back, you will have this Notion notes. And once you hit the Notion notes, you can choose the notes that you want it to go, which is so damn cool. And let me show you another one for Spotify because I think a bunch of people use Spotify and a bunch of people listen to Joe Rogan podcast as me, right? Even they have like some beef going on, but still, I still listen to them. Once again, do the same thing. So once I go to Spotify app, I will go to my playlist. So I'll choose Disclosure's playlist because I like Disclosure, they're one of the best DJs. So what you wanna do to copy URL of Spotify is tap this three dots once again, then hit share. And once you hit share, go to copy link and you already copied link of this Spotify playlist. So paste the URL and let me go to my other playlist. So hit the three dots, go to share, copy link, go back, paste URL and boom and go next and hit done and boom. Once you go back, you have your Spotify playlist. You can choose your playlist number one, playlist number two. And if you just want to use it as like a normal open app stuff, you can use that as well. So let me just make one real quick. This widget works really well with native apps. So for example, let me just go to like the voice memo. Let me record a brand new voice memo. Go next voice memo. I'll just tap it. And as you guys can see, I made a voice memo widget. And if you guys watch my last iOS 14 video, I have a specific widget that can do voice recording immediately, but you can just make this natively on iOS 14, which is pretty cool. So if I just hit the voice memo, it will straight up record my voice. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got this video inspiration from Thomas Frank. Thomas Frank is one of the coolest productivity YouTuber out there. So please go check his channel out. He is one of the biggest productivity guy in this world. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like tech creativity and sprinkle of college lifestyle, I think you guys will like my channel as well. So please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button. If you guys like tech, I'll hit the playlist right here. And if you guys like creativity stuff, I'll hit the playlist right here. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. My name is Peace Gates. And you guys already know. Peace out, guys.